Wow. There is zero people here. An empty beach paradise here in Chompon. Hello everybody and welcome to another off the beaten path adventure here in Chompon, Thailand. Today we're starting our day off at the best viewpoint in all of this beautiful area. We are at Khao Dinsor viewpoint and I'm currently driving up a 90 degree angle right now. This is pretty crazy. I'm going full throttle on our little banger of a scooter and I'm barely moving. Let's go up to the top and have a beautiful view. Well guys, does not get much more beautiful than this right here. Welcome to the top of Khao Dinsor viewpoint in Chompon. I'll tell you what, that was a struggle on our little scooter to get up here. It's quite steep, but it's a relatively short drive. It only took us around maybe one minute of cranking it full throttle up the hill. And you're rewarded with this here. This is really something else. And uh, I hope you can see that there in the back. Remember in the last video where we were talking about the hill? So this hill and the beach that you can see there in the distance, that's uh, Tung Wa Laim Beach. And the beach here in the front, that is uh, Safli Beach. And uh, yeah, we have never been this north from... Uh, jump on <laughs> I'm standing in the way of other tourists of course <laughs> anywho um, from up here you can see that um, they have some uh, raptor statues here some eagles and so on because apparently come and be a nerd with me again um, apparently they are tracking some migratory birds here with satellite technology that is powered by solar power never seen something like this before really really cool to see what solar power can facilitate and manage but wow this is absolutely beautiful uh, to see today and also start our day off like this all right you guys off we go to the next adventure Bye-bye! <laughs> <Bye. Bye. laughs> oh my god, it looks so steep now. Look at that view. How beautiful. Unbelievable. I hope the brakes are strong enough on this bike. Because I'll tell you what guys, this is steeper than it looks probably on camera right now. The camera that we have sometimes portrays things to be a little bit less extreme than what it is because it's a wide angle lens. But this is literally straight down at the moment so we're going to be testing out our brakes for sure now the brakes on our really old bike yeah. <laughs> oh my god brakes are squeaking well if they're squeaking they're working right exactly i'm giving absolutely no gas at all right now all brakes it's all brakes and I'm squeezing the brakes as hard as I can <laughs> yeah maybe don't squeeze them too hard if they get too hot we will we'll just melt off yeah exactly we should be back down though in roughly around 20 seconds okay it's getting less now oh. all right <laughs> I also need to have a look where we have to go. <laughs> right guys, we went a little bit further north to one of the bays that we actually haven't seen yet. So you're going to experience it at the same time as we are going to see it for the very first time. We are on our way to Bo Mao Bay. <laughs> very complicated name, but it sounds kind of funny. And uh, we are very, very excited to actually get there. We're not so far away from it anymore. You can already sort of see the ocean there. Yeah, you can already. 
already see the ocean and both of us are super excited. We're also sort of looking for like maybe a little cafe or a little restaurant, something like that, where we could have some food maybe on the side of the road. But right now we are not able to really find any restaurants, smaller ones. But uh, yeah, we're gonna have a look and then hopefully get some breakfast on the side of the road somewhere here. Right, you guys, we tried finding a good looking spot at Ao Mao Bay. And actually we found a restaurant that looks really nice uh, from the outside. One second, please don't forget the towel back maybe. Okay. Oh. We found this one restaurant here that looked really nice and it looks sort of local. So we decided to stop and maybe have a look what kind of food they have, maybe have a look on their menu. Or if they're even open, I don't know. But it looks like a really nice restaurant with ocean view. So that's why I thought we might stop here, right? How beautiful does the, do these guest houses look as well, guys? I just want to show you before we go into this restaurant because I cannot get over this as well. This is where we parked, obviously. And these here are guest houses and just beyond here is the beach, is Aubo Mao Bay. No idea what the cost of these are, but gorgeous. If you are looking for the guest house, this is the sign that you will see. And this is also the sign of this particular guest house. But yeah, let's go inside, have some food. Well guys, this place is um, sleepier, even sleepier than Chompon, which I didn't think was possible. That restaurant is closed. We went inside and asked if they had food and unfortunately they're closed. So we're going to have to look for another option. On Google Maps it says it's open. Google Maps says it's open. That's why I said In person, it's closed. <laughs> Welcome to rural Thailand, guys. Um, but we're going to look for maybe another option. It's kind of a well spaced out coast and uh, worst comes to worst, we're gonna go for a swim, enjoy the beach and then get some food. But I'm sure we'll be able to find a restaurant. Let's hop back on the bike for a sec and see what we can find. Right guys, we decided to go for a quick dip before looking for another restaurant, but just because we are literally just at the beach and just at the access point, um, because it's like, I don't know, there's not necessarily like a promenade or anything like that. And we saw this very nice looking access point here. And check this out. We are the only people here legitimately oh, oh, oh. trying to not fall down the beach. Wow. There is zero people here. Not a, not a single person. We're legitimately the only two people on this entire beach stretch. We're the only people here, what the hell? Why is that? I have no idea. I mean, there are some guest houses there, like on the right side from what we saw, but... Well, now I understand why the restaurant was closed, because uh, there's nobody around here. That's very interesting and I cannot believe it. I thought that Ao Bo Mao was somewhat of a well-known place for snorkeling or diving, stuff like that. But apparently it's totally ours today. So we're incredibly lucky. It's a Sunday, by the way. It's a Sunday. It's like a it's not even locals here. It's not even uh, during the week. Like if we came here during the week and it looked like this, I wouldn't be as surprised as I am. But uh, Totally open, totally free, not one person. This is beautiful. Yeah. I kind of feel like uh, we didn't get the memo that today there is something big happening somewhere else where everybody is at. But uh, yeah, like it is early afternoon. There should be people everywhere in the restaurant, on the beach, etc. But yeah, nobody here. So we're just gonna go for a lonely dip. <laughs> now this whole entire beach is quite literally lined with beautiful green trees as well very tall trees a mixture kind of of palm trees and whatever these things are here but yeah this is gorgeous beautiful sand and it is very windy 
last few days, I don't know what it is, it's just been super windy and we're feeling it on the scooter as well. We're kind of just constantly getting blasted. Sand and everything else is just flying into our faces while we are driving around. Yeah, this is total paradise right here. And again, not a single soul with us. And Naomi's already heading out for a little dip. Wow. Thailand. I don't say this enough. Well, I say it a lot. I say it a lot, but I don't say it enough. We love you so much. Unreal. Time to go in for a little bit of a dippy dip in the water. Oh, it's feeling a little bit chilly actually. Usually the water in Thailand is oftentimes quite warm. Not this time around. It's quite chilly at the moment. And Naomi is uh, like maybe 80 meters, 100 meters in front of me. And she's still standing up. So that will give you an idea of just how gradual this particular sandbank is it really takes you quite some time to get out in the water and uh, this is unreal i can't truly describe it i can't accurately put into words just how perfect chumpan really is but it is perfect. We've never met friendlier people. We've never seen such beautiful and long and beautiful coastline. We've never had such delicious local food. This area of Thailand is truly massively underrated. It is a very well known jump off point for the more well-known islands but I'm telling you if you are thinking about going to Koh Phangan or Koh Tao or Koh Samui, Koh whatever think about spending a few days around Chumpon I said I got tired of walking after 500 meters in it's just about like maybe a meter yep. in depth so yeah I think you can walk out pretty pretty far I can also see that it's like it gets a little bit deeper in the distance and then there's like a sand bank where you can walk on again so I think you can never go really deep on this beach <laughs> Very True. interesting. Unbelievable, it's so surreal. We are literally maybe 300, 400 meters away from where I just entered the water. And I am genuinely up to my knees right now. Crazy. After being here now for roughly around 30 minutes and enjoying the amazing water, the only other person that we've seen on this beach is this guy just here behind me. And he is basically scraping the beach for plastic bottles. And it's a very common thing that you'll see all throughout Southeast Asia. I'm not too sure now what type of money that they can get for the plastic bottles that they do collect, but you see them quite a lot doing this sort of activity and I'm sure it's worthwhile if people are doing it but yeah this is literally the only other person that has been with us zero tourists whatsoever and uh, we really don't understand why Naomi was just saying if if you were to rent one of the guest houses that we just showed you before coming here you would basically have a private beach Just have a look at this as well here guys it seems to be like a, a beach shack that was probably at one time a very 
happening place and um, I'm sure people still probably use it this seems to be like a little bit of a campfire situation maybe and mm -hmm. um, you might be able to set up a nice nice little fire maybe barbecue whatever places to sit places to sleep this is a great place I would have loved this place when I was uh, a teenager to maybe come here a few cans of beer on the beach doesn't get much better than this it looks like this some is perfect people might still be using it. like they're still yeah that is like burnt down that's actually yeah pretty freshly freshly Some burned spoons here as well if Some it would spoons. have been a long time ago the spoons would be gone by with the wind and everything that is going on here that's very true yeah guys an empty beach paradise here in Chompon. so if you do like things on the quiet side of life come and check out Ao Bo Mao Bay here in Chompon. for now we're gonna hop back on our bike it is coming up to 3 p.m in the day and once again like almost in every video we haven't eaten anything yet so intermittent fasting for the win if you know what that is but yeah we're gonna make our way now i think to another beach and maybe along the way we will Hopefully. catch a restaurant and uh, have a nice relaxing meal and bring you guys along with us and we can maybe review one of these restaurants along the coastline but look at this guys not a single soul here and this seems to be here with the purpose of being some sort of a parking lot that's what it looks like anyways everything's flattened out it's a sunday and it's just us <laughs> finding it really odd i don't know i feel like maybe I, I already said it maybe we missed something maybe there's a festival or something yeah. going on that we're not aware of but there should be people right <laughs> Right guys, we just drove uh, to Safli Beach and we actually found where everybody is at here at Safli Beach. It seems like they have some sort of a Sunday market going on and uh, really everybody is here. This, the entire stretch, the beach is just there uh, behind those houses and uh, yeah, the entire beach stretch is completely filled with market vendors and uh, everybody is here enjoying their Sunday doing their weekly shopping all of that good stuff so yeah we're just gonna have a look around I suppose to see what we can eat what we can have yes. uh, gonna be interesting here it looks like a massive market guys it looks like a uh, hustle and bustle is here uh, at Safli Beach yes this is exactly where the beach is and it was only a quick kind of a 15 20 minute drive from where we were at Aobomao Bay now, from what this part here of the market looks like, it looks like a lot of fresh stuff. So it looks like a lot of veg, vegetables, root vegetables, bananas. You have some fresh fruit, fresh fish, loads of stuff going on here. Lottery, if you want to play the lottery as well, super popular in Thailand. And uh, I think we're gonna look for some sort of a ready-made food, whether that's Pad Siu, Pad Kra Pao, Pad Thai all of the pads this seems like we're in the right place though i hope that they have ready-made food because it seems a little bit like a weekend market where everybody just does their weekly shopping to yeah. cook at home but we don't have a kitchen That's in our uh, guest house so we need to have something that is already made very very true <laughs> we'll go for a little bit of a walk anyways and inspect what they have i love these by the way i keep seeing these bikes with the sidecars uh, everywhere you go and uh, those sidecars are just really funny because you'll see these bikes going by there'll be obviously one or two people on the bike and then probably around 15 people in the sidecar oh my god look at the fish some of them look like tuna wow they're so big so big absolutely you can feed your massive. entire family with one fish yeah <laughs> absolutely massive fish Mango sticky, sticky rice. rice. Oh so tasty. my god. Smaller variety of fishes here as well, of course. Dried fish. Oh wow, it's all happening here. Let's go inside the market and see what we can find. Got yeah, sweet just, treats. Oh yeah. This was just like the pre-market. Yeah. You can buy entire chickens, entire ducks. Incredible. Wow. 
and this seems to stretch guys I'm gonna try and extend the camera so you can see the sides when you come <laughs> have a look here guys probably see the scale of this market what's this here pork knuckle, pork knuckle. wow delish fried chicken got some fried chicken as well fried chicken is usually a fantastic option in thailand thailand really oh, knows fried chicken so tasty oh my god I don't know, you can't really see any like uh, sitting down opportunities. I would like to like sit down and enjoy a meal. Usually in the majority of the markets you have like a place behind the vendor where yep. you can sit down, but I'm not sure if that's the case uh, on this weekend market. Oh my God. There's so much options here though. Okay guys, so we're picking ourselves up some fresh juice here. We definitely need a refreshment. So we got some watermelon juice and some orange juice. It looks nice and cold and refreshing and basically exactly what we need. Popcorn cab. This looks amazing. It's so iced that it looks like a slushy. Yeah. When you like poured it out of the out of the box it looked like a proper slushy. Oh, it's literally perfect. Mm. So tasty, but it is a slushy. It's really frozen. And no sugar. Frozen watermelon in a cup. What more could you ask for? Sell clothes here too. So clothes, food, fruit juice, at the beach, everything. Oh, I have a brain freeze. <laughs> Sorry, it's so hot outside. It's like 33 degrees, 34 degrees today. <laughs> Luke is I running into there. stuff. <laughs> Look at this. This is a death trap. <laughs> death trap for tall people. Yeah. Welcome to Safili Beach. Hopefully we're pronouncing that correctly. And we stumbled upon a fantastic team of people here that are cleaning up the beach. How amazing is that? It looks like because of the strong winds and the strong weather over the last few days that a little bit of garbage has been washed up onto the beach unfortunately and that's the reason why people like this are here cleaning the beach up. Seems to be an initiative that is called I'm a trash hero. Trash hero, yeah. Trash hero. They seem to be cleaning up the beach, maybe the leftovers from whatever the high tide or the bad weather brought in. I think they're cleaning it up. Amazing initiative though. Very cool. Nonetheless guys, very beautiful beach. It does look like, as I just said, a bit of plastic has blown up here. Very thankful for these guys doing what they're doing. They seem to be collecting quite a bit of this stuff. And you can see that this coastline stretches for a very, very long amount to over 200 kilometers, I believe, uh, which is incredible. I think Chompon has the longest coastline of any province in Thailand. And that is a fact to be very proud of. It's gorgeous here. You can really see how high the water must have been during the last few days. Yeah. I mean, I don't know, it was uh, kind of the same theme, the same topic on uh, all three beaches that we saw so far in this area. So I do think that this is the normal water level. And then, uh, I don't know, some bad weather happened with very, very high weather, very high waves, something like that. that uh, all of the stuff, all of the garbage that is far out in the ocean probably came up here. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it had something to do with all of the floods and everything that happened in Japan or something like that even. I'm, I'm not sure, but uh, seems to be a common theme here. It's very true. 
Yeah guys, just so you know, we decided to stick with our fruit juice for now. And we're gonna try and maybe find a nice sit down place in a while. But for, for now, this fruit juice is all that we need to fuel up until dinner time. Wow, this is a very nice beach. And again, basically nobody on this beach. Where is everybody in Champagne? I don't understand. I think you can see the cow dinosaur from here. Yes, I believe the one Where of these the peaks, out? the one maybe in the middle. I think it's the cut out there in the middle of the forest. Little cut out in the forest, yeah. You're definitely not going to be able to see that, but it is somewhere here in the middle. That's exactly where we started this video off. And we would have been looking from there out over in this direction in the very beginning. Crazy. What comes around goes around. Yep. Beautiful. <laughs> Okay, nice little walk along this beautiful beach now. Have a look at these gorgeous swings as well that you can just sit and enjoy. I don't know if they would hold me and Naomi. I think we're a little bit too tall, a little bit too heavy. That's what I wanted to ask. Do you think they can support a farang or? No idea. I don't think so. The plan now, guys, is we're gonna make our way towards a local village that's close to where we're staying. We have not shown you this place yet, but it's a very beautiful local area, quite literally in the middle of nowhere. And they have quite a lot of selection of different food to try out and the people there are exceptionally friendly. This place here, Safali Beach, is gorgeous too. Definitely recommend you guys coming and checking out this area. Maybe on a Sunday, I'm not sure if this is a Sunday only market uh, or if this is an everyday market, but definitely come and check this place out. It is a good vibe. Quick little pit stop at the accommodation. We had to sort of freshen up. It was quite a long drive around to the two separate beaches and the viewpoint and everything. And as you can probably see, I think we we're a little bit sunburned as well. So we had to put some moisturizer on that. But now guys, we're going to bring you towards the village that I was just speaking about there previously. This is a very nice place that we're going to bring you to. And it's definitely off the beaten path from tourists as well. My shoulders were absolutely burned. They were like fire red. Uh, that's why I had to put on a long t-shirt to not have more sun exposure. And uh, also I went into the water with my pants and my t-shirt so I just had to generally put on something dry so don't be weirded out if we look different now. Uh, but yeah, really hungry now, cannot wait to eat something. Yeah, there's a few spots that we saw. We walked down into this village previously before and um, they have a really interesting lady that sells pizza of all things. I don't know if we're gonna get pizza today though. I would stick to maybe the more local stuff. There's women selling things like satay and uh, pretty much everything that you can think of. So we're gonna go now to this village. It should be there in probably around 30 or 40 seconds. It's very close to where we're staying here at Aria Garden. Stupid helmet is on. Let's get on the way. You guys, we didn't really make it far at all. We're still standing in the same spot. Luke just tried to push out backwards and uh, yeah, it looks like... We have a flat tire. It looks like we have a flat tire. Now, this is not the first time in Southeast Asia that we have a flat tire. Unfortunately, it's uh, the second time. Yeah, it's definitely flat. It's started, starting to sort of come off the rim. Really, really lucky that uh, I heard it. Just as I was pushing the bike back, I could hear and sort of feel that that tire was flat. So I just messaged our Airbnb host who we rented the bike from. And we're just gonna see what we can do with this. We're a little bit stuck and we are very hungry, so. Maybe do you just wanna go to that uh, little stop there on the side of the road, the uncle and auntie, uh, uncle and auntie that we've been at the last time. Yeah, 
Might be the only that, that's something that we can easily reach. I mean, the village is also not too far away. To be to be honest, it's like it's very close. But uh, on the way there, the last time we walked, there were like loads and loads of dogs that are sort of protective over the territory, and you have to stop every time and uh, be barked at, and then keep walking and stop and keep walking and so on. It just takes a lot of time if you're on foot. So that's why we're just. I believe we're gonna go probably to our closest, nearest option for now to stop being so hungry. Did she already message back? She's riding. Is it, is it okay or is she angry? I don't know, she's riding. Okay. Should be fine. See how much it is. Can't be too expensive to repair. It's only basically a tube with air, so it should be totally fine. And I'm sure it's just the inside tube that's after popping from whatever we've driven on i actually funnily enough was thinking today when we were driving back i was like probably gonna get a flat tire because there was a lot of a lot of different areas where we drove over gravel and stuff like that and this is all gravel and it's very easy to pop a tire on stuff like this when you have very thin tires yeah and as i said not the first time uh, the, the last time it happened i think it was in when we were in Indonesia, so uh, and that was also totally fine. Um, these things just happen, especially in Southeast Asia, when you're not always driving over a uh, normal asphalt cement type of a road, but a lot of times you're just driving here and there, sort of in weird places over weird paths, and that type of stuff just happens, but that's okay. Uh, I just need some something to eat or I'm gonna faint, I think. <laughs> okay, guys, so... <laughs> The ordeal is already sort of resolved. It just means we're gonna have to walk to our destination to get food now. But uh, we just had a little bit of a chat with the lovely homestay owner here. She doesn't speak a word of English, but thankfully Google Translate is there to help. And she actually asked us to use Google Translate so she could speak into it. And uh, she basically just told us that on during Sundays, in Thailand everything is closed or everything is a lot more laid back and she said that the people that are here to repair the tire yeah. are not there to repair the tire so it will it's probably be in it's, the morning. It's specific car repair shop is closed and uh, they cannot reach it but uh, her son will come tomorrow and take the bicycle the scooter to the next car repair shop and then that's okay like it's gonna be resolved that way but it just means that for the the rest of today we will have to walk everywhere which is fine we just need some food and that's all <laughs> exactly thankfully it happened at the end of the day yeah. can you imagine being somewhere in Kao what was it called Kao Dinsor and then having a flat tire and not being able to go home uh, yeah. that would have been a problem we would have been many kilometers away probably around 20 or 18 20 kilometers away from where from where we are right now and that would have been an absolute headache so very grateful that we only realized that it was flat when we were back safe at the homestay and now we're gonna go and enjoy some food at our favorite place in Chompon <laughs> this road this road is definitely not our favorite it's quite loud but so at the same time, this uh, food establishment really makes up for it. Yeah, I'm totally not a road, busy road person. Yeah. So this, this road is my nightmare, but it's fine. <laughs> I'm very sad though that we cannot bring you guys to see this village that I was talking about because wow, it's a very special place, but it is quite literally behind uh, the homestay where we're staying. So if you are coming to Aria Garden Home, make sure to check out the area that is directly behind it because it's a very special place. Now let's go get some food. Okay guys, so we're back at our favorite establishment here in Chompon and you'll know all about this place if you watched our previous videos before. I think what we're gonna get is two hot crap out. Absolutely starving. So let's dig in. Open cup. 
There you have it guys. Probably the best pad crop how in uh, southern Thailand and that's a very bold statement for me to be making. But this one plate of pad crop how is 50 baht. Massive portion of pork, beautiful fried egg, gigantic portion of rice. You even get some greenery as well. also very spicy they prepare it exceptionally spicy too the egg is as ooey gooey and amazing as always Kapunka. Kapunka. oh my god i cannot wait to dig in i'm so hungry you guys you cannot believe it ah you won't believe it i don't even know what i'm saying i'm so hungry i'm just delusional by now <laughs> let's dig right in Yeah. Those red uh, green beans that they put into it. I don't know if I can find one now. Here, these green beans, they're super, super fresh. Um, the entire pad krakow is uh, insanely spicy, actually. Like, so spicy that it actually brings me a little bit to the limit of uh, what I can take in terms of spiciness, but it's really tasty while being painful. So, <laughs> if you know what I mean. But yeah, if you basically eat this one dish for 50 baht and um, it's everything you need for the entire day in terms of filling you up and everything and that's kind of what we have been doing for the past few days we've been just coming here sort of once a day maybe a few nuts or something from 7-eleven and that's about it so really worth the money and so tasty it's very true guys if you are traveling on a budget like we are and you need to stick to a certain amount this is enough food for you. It will literally fill you up for probably half the day. If you're someone large like myself, around half of the day, you can be full easily with this. So for some people, this is gonna fill you up literally for the entire day, if you are able to even finish the dish. I have not been able to finish it and sometimes I eat it for lunch and then I just take the rest uh, away with me and then I eat the rest the leftover basically for dinner. That's how much food it is. So <laughs> it's, it's insane. But yeah guys, we're gonna dig in, we're gonna enjoy our food and then we're going to basically kick back and relax. It's been another amazing and fantastic adventure here in Chompon, Thailand. For now guys, my name is Luke. My name is Naomi. We are the two mad explorers. And this is your reminder to keep exploring. And we'll see you guys in the next Thailand adventure. Kapkunaka for watching. Kapkunaka. Bye bye. bye. bye.